Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Partner, I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper. You've got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for me, man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polizia! Wait! If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You 
might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw it down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out there. Get tough or you won't last five minutes. Venice needs this situation resolved now. Okay, I know you boys like this, and so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, you're not. not nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. I can see, da! I can see! Yawn. <laughs> You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> it's dark. Dark like the grave, huh? <laughs> Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then... I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squat room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? 
Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Running for the rest of your life? Greetings, old. Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray. We need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? the gang to tell the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's car problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected, as non-law operatives will be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's Opera House. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. 